What's up guys, my name is Nick, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to create systems and processes to optimize your productivity. Let's jump in. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be all about how to create systems and processes. Now before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed to this page and you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, please smash that like button and go ahead and drop a comment below. If you guys would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's talk about how to create systems and processes. Now, when you think about systems and processes, I want you to think about how they are the framework or the game plan of what you're trying to accomplish. When we are more process focused rather than outcome focused, it allows you to be more present. It allows you to spend more time focusing on the task at hand rather than focusing on trying to control the outcome. And you aren't consumed with decision fatigue or forgetting important details because you've already built that framework to be successful. Number one, it's time to think different. I want you to start thinking of every single thing you do in a very strategic way. Think of it as each task has its own checkpoints and every single one of these things can be broken down into these checkpoints. What you have to do here is imagine things fitting together like a puzzle. Let's just take an example that's super easy and go with morning routine. Now some of us, it takes a while for us to wake up. So when I say that, I mean it takes a second for us to get our mind going, get things sharpened up. It just takes us a second to get moving. Then setting tasks right at the beginning of your morning routine that require a lot of thought is probably not the best idea for you. Instead, take some of those mindless tasks that you can just accomplish really, really quickly without much thought and load those in on the front end. So some of those things are making your bed, brushing your teeth, drinking a glass of water, pouring your favorite cup of coffee. Then, after all that's completed, we'll get into things like journaling, prayer, meditation, things that take a little more thought. Again, we're wanting to think different and place things in a strategic way to help us optimize our productivity and help us be as successful as possible. Number two, take what you currently do and break it down to its most efficient way possible of performing the task. So now that we're thinking differently and we're beginning to break things up into checkpoints, we need to assess what exactly are we doing throughout our day and is it contributing to being the most efficient possible? For example, do you have some things in your daily routine that you can speed up or automate? I'm talking setting a timer on the coffee the night before to where when you wake up, it's ready and already brewed or packing your lunch the night before. Doing all these things ahead of time helps eliminate that decision fatigue. It helps you use that mental brain power for something more important later on in the day. So just remember, do the work now so you can have the flexibility later. Number three, it starts with a routine. When you start to break things down and hammer out the most efficient ways possible, you'll begin to do these things in other areas of your life and things will begin to streamline. When it comes to creating systems and processes, it's really about training your mind and body to be more efficient through things like a daily routine. Now, a daily routine is just another system or process that's implemented to help you create other systems and processes. When you create a routine, you'll begin to optimize productivity in other areas of your life, which will just be a result of the habits that you've already created. Think about this. If you operate in a way where every day you perform your non-negotiables, I'm talking journaling, prayer, meditation, exercise, all of these things that help us be more productive, you'll begin to treat other areas of your life with the same sense of purpose and meaning. So when we're creating solid systems and processes, it all starts with a routine. Number four, running on a higher self-awareness. Now that you have the thought process down, it's time to get more productive. I'm talking maximum efficiency. Just realize there are different seasons in our life. Some seasons we work hard and we grind to get to our goals. In other seasons, when you start working harder, your body sometimes breaks down more, and that's when we need to prioritize rest and recovery a little bit more often than we typically do. Luckily for you, the more self-awareness you have, the more you'll see that life is more of an ebb and flow, where sometimes things are really high, but then other times things go really low. You'll see that these phases are completely normal and healthy. Just realize that when things get tough, that's not an excuse to quit chasing what you're going after. I'm saying learn to realize when you need to back off your system a little bit, and rest and recover, then get back to working hard. Number five, review and revamp. Systems and processes get outdated all the time. You get smarter, faster, and just more efficient in general. So if today's system works, that's great. Keep using it and maximize it to its potential. However, when you continue to advance, you're going to have to review that framework and revamp it to where it fits where you're at now. Always keep a check on your systems and making sure things are working at the most efficient way possible. The reason why is because working hard at the right things will produce the result you want. However, if your system is flawed, 
Working hard at the wrong things is only going to get you better at doing the wrong thing. So keep a check on your systems and make sure that you're moving in the direction that you want to be going. Finally, I have a question for you guys. If you've implemented some things to create systems and processes in your life, drop a comment below and let me know what you've done. That's all I've got for you guys today. Drop a comment below, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.